Good day, this is Dr. Nick coming to you from the future of leadership. And today I would like to delve into the question, what is it that makes for a happy and fulfilled life? Now, so many times we live our lives in the hopes of achieving happiness when you get the car, when you get the job, when you get promoted, when you <coughs> get married, and we see happiness as a destination. And really not so much as a journey. I mean, I'll never forget when I was studying for matric, I really I was convinced I would be happy once I have the matric certificate. When I studied, I was convinced I would be happy once I've got the university degree. When I got the job, I was convinced I would be happy doing just what the job entailed. And every time I noticed that the happiness was short-lived, the happiness for my dream car, the happiness for my dream house, And even in relationships, even when it comes to your most important relationship, when it comes to your spouse, your life partner, when it comes to getting married, happiness is not a destination. But happiness, what I've learned, is very much an internal job. It's very much that inside job. And it depends very much on how you interact with other people. It really is created every day, every moment, in the little interactions that you encounter with other people. And that's why you can actually, and that's really the only way to create happiness, you generate happiness. You build your own happiness and happiness is actually delivered in return. So when you interact with somebody else, when you make them feel better, then you will be receiving happiness in return. And that I think is a key concept that Happiness is generated in return. Now, today I'm going to share three strategies that will help you to generate happiness on a daily basis. The first one is to have deep conversations. Now, when I mean deep conversations, is that you focus and center your conversation around the other person entirely. So, what you should do when you meet somebody and when you build up a relationship with somebody you should actually ask them these deep questions. And you can find them, it's a, almost a technique, a methodology. It's a way of engaging that I discovered when I started the Future of Leadership Forum, where I go out and interview leaders about their insights into the future. And every time I interviewed a leader, I found that the most important for them, the most important part of the entire The entire interview was their st story. It was their story. So here are the five questions you really should consider when you deep dive deep and when you have that deep conversation. The first is ask them where are they from? Where did you grow up? Then what was your dream career when you grew up? Third, who or what inspired you? Who were your sources of inspiration? Four, what was the turning point in your life and in your, in your career? And five, what is driving you today? Now again, when you go to the www.thefutureleadership.com, you will see exactly how I structure this into an interview and you will get a good sense how to ask people without being intrusive. Secondly, very importantly, is that when you help others, when you do these random acts of kindness, and when you deliver real value, you will feel happier. Because you will pick it up, first of all, you will pick it up from a job well done. There was something that happened today when I was asked to uh, work on a document that was not quite easy to do, and I found a tool to do it, and when I delivered that job to... Uh, my uh, business partner he was so happy and in return I felt a great sense of happiness and in this sense accomplishments so when you help somebody there's different ways to help it can be a job it can be to help them gain clarity it can help get them to gain insights again I will delve further into this in the coming video um, but for now, it is very important that you do help others. And it could just be to help others, for example, vacate your seat, to help others cross the street, to help others with 
the small acts of kindness. And the third element or the third action that generates happiness on a consistent basis is to slow things down. And what I mean is that as we are rushing around, as we are rushing around in our lives, at work, on social media, we forget to treasure and appreciate the little things. So when you meet somebody, make eye contact, acknowledge them, shake their hands, make them feel special. In fact, you should do that with everybody you encounter. If you just think what difference it would make when everybody that you encounter walks away from you feeling better. That could be your spouse, it could be your boss, it could be your peer, it could be your subordinate, it could be your children, it could be the petrol attendant, it could be the waiter. Every time you touch somebody, they walk away feeling better. And the key is to make time for them. Many times it just takes a few seconds, a minute or two, but it makes all the difference. So there we go. The three acts and actions to generate happiness on a daily basis. And remember, happiness is generated in return. So three actions you need to practice and remind yourself every day. Help others, slow things down and have these deep conversations. Now all of these take practice, they take reminding yourself, but once you do that, I can guarantee you will feel a lot happier and a lot more fulfilled. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel, because I will be posting regular videos about motivation and inspiration.